Indian Army has successfully tested the recently delivered swarm drones by New Space Research and Technologies in an operational strike core setting, as well as 50 kg heavy lift load carriage autonomous drones as part of logistical support missions. Indian Air Force's Surya Kiran Aerobatic Team will perform a 10 minutes air show before the Cricket World Cup final match on 19 November over Narendra Modi Stadium in Motara. Indian Navy has announced that the first indigenous aircraft carrier INS Vikrant has attained full operational status on 16 November 2023. INS Vikramaditya has completed 10 years in service with Indian Navy today. Indian Air Force is working to develop a specialized high-altitude starting equipment that will facilitate the deployment of its Apache attack helicopters at extreme high altitudes along the line of actual control at 16,000 feet. Munitions India Limited will supply 1.5 lakh units of 30mm and 40mm grenades to Armenia. Indian Army Strike Corps conducted a massive airborne drop drill in the western deserts that involved special forces personnel and utilized all types of aircraft in the Indian Air Force inventory. The Indian Air Force has issued an expression of interest to Indian firms that are capable of designing, developing, testing and delivering expendable low-cost target drones that will enhance training of personnel in counter drone systems. The target drones must have indigenous components software and technology and must feature auto-stabilization and remote control. India and the United States are set to review the progress of their collaborative efforts regarding the co-development of F-414 engines for upcoming Tejas Mark II aircraft. While the co-development process was initially scheduled to kickstart in March 2024, but there are indications that the timeline might be subject to revision. The review meeting between India and the United States will assess the progress made till now, and the readiness to initiate this crucial project. India has decided that it will continue to use the American Cummins engines for the entire DRDO light tank project, which got delayed by a few months due to issues in the supply of German engines, as there was delay in export clearance from the German government. Interestingly, German government has now granted clearance to German firm MTU to deliver the engines to India, but India has decided that it will go ahead with the American engine for the entire program. Experts have said that the delay by German government has exposed a certain level of hypocrisy within the German administration, and this incident raises questions about the reliability and consistency of Germany as a defense partner, which has emerged as a prime contender in Indian Navy's Project 75I, and that India needs to assess the risks associated with defense partnerships with such countries. Russia has decided to dismantle the damaged Akula-class nuclear-powered submarine that was leased to the Indian Navy as INS Chakra. In April 2020, a high-pressure air cylinder exploded on board the Chakra that damaged both hulls, and electronic weapons and sonar equipment were also damaged, after which Indian specialists carried out emergency repairs on both hulls, and India decided to end the submarine lease ahead of schedule. The main headquarters of the Russian Navy considers it inappropriate to repair and modernize the submarine for financial reasons, and has proposed to dispose the submarine. Today's Top 3 Comments